Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and students today we are going to do government schemes for MSMEs in India uh, micro and small enterprises actually in India and we are doing this session for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 exam scale 2 and 3 exam for the financial awareness section very important schemes that we are going to do today uh, my name is Ramandeep Singh and I, have, and I have been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and this is my WhatsApp number in case of any doubt you can contact me. And we have already started the IBPS RRB GBO scale 2 and scale 3 course on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series. Link to join the course is available in the description, please check. <clears throat> so let me just hide myself so that you can read it properly. MSME loan in 59 minutes, very popular scheme. So MSME loan in 59 minutes, it's a government backed scheme in which obviously as a name suggests, you can get the loan, you can complete the documentation, you can get the in principle approval of the loan within 59 minutes. You're not getting the money within 59 minutes, like an in principle approval. Mil jata hai. <clears throat> so the scheme is administered by PSB 59. So what is PSB 59? It is a consortium of PSU banks and they offers loans up to 5 crores. So please note that this scheme is administered by PSB 59 that is important and the loans up to 5 crores are offered here. Theek hai? What is the eligibility criteria? It must be registered with the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and have a minimum uh, annual turnover of 20 lakhs have been in operation of two years having good credit history. So this is the eligibility criteria. Please remember that. And the loan application process is simple and can be completed online and you are going to get the in principle approval. Uh, when you you know, upload your registration number up Dalteo, you upload your turnover details, pan card number and etc. So once you upload your basic details, you get the in principle approval and the bank is allotted, you go to the PSU bank and then you get your, uh, you know, uh, the documentation is complete. Theek hai? So this is the MSME loan in 59 minutes is make important hai? the scheme is administered by PSB 59. It is a consortium of PSU banks loan ka maximum limit bata diya hai. Uh, and this is the eligibility criteria and that's all. Okay. <clears throat> These three things are important and please remember that. Mudra loan already a very popular and I have already taught it multiple times. So Mudra loan scheme uh, for MSMEs, it's a, you know, three types of loans are given up to 10 lakhs. First of all, up to 10 lakhs, up to 10 lakhs, unsecured collateral free loans are provided to the small businesses to micro enterprises, right? So three kind of loans, very important. Shishu loans up to 50,000 rupees. Okay. And the business is in operation uh, for less than a year. Kishore loans are there up to 5 lakh rupees. Tarun loans are there up to 10 lakh rupees. Okay. So Tarun loan 5 lakh to 10 lakh ke jo loan hai 5 to 10 lakhs. Those are Tarun loan 50,000 to uh, 5 lakh tak ke jo loan hai. Those are Kishore loan. So please remember that. The loans are available through network of banks and NBFCs and microfinance institutions in India. So this is the Mudra loan. Okay. <coughs> The credit uh, guarantee fund scheme for micro and small enterprises in India. So the credit guarantee fund for the, the micro and small enterprises, it's a scheme by the government of India. What is the purpose to provide cover to collateral free loans extended by banks and financial institution to micro and small enterprises. So banks kyun loan provide karenge small and micro enterprises ko collateral free government is providing the guarantee. The government is providing the guarantee uh, for these for the such loans. <clears throat> the scheme is administered by credit guarantee fund trust for uh, micro and the small enterprises, which is a joint venture. Please remember that it is a joint venture of Ministry of uh, Micro and Small Enterprises and SIDB. So this fund, it is a joint venture, joint venture of MS, uh, the Ministry of Micro and Small Enterprises and SIDB. Inka joint venture hai, tabhi ja ke ye fund bana, right? Uh, credit guarantee fund trust bana ye. And that trust is providing guarantee for the loans taken by the micro and the small enterprises. Kitna coverage hai? Uh, this fund provides guarantee up to, uh, guarantee cover up to 90% 
for the loan amount up to 2 crore and the guarantee cover is available for all kind of loans working capital loan term loan purchase of machinery and equipment so that is imp imp important 2 crore up to 2 crore that is a maximum 90 percent of maximum uh, administ administered by the credit guarantee trust fund for ma micro and the small enterprises it's a joint venture between ministry of small micro small and medium enterprises and sidbi तो ये याद रखने वाली चीजें हैं तीन चीजें यहां पे याद रखने वाली हैं प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ओके सो द बेनिफिट्स टू अवेल द बेनिफिट द एमएससी मस्ट बी रजिस्टर्ड विद द एमएससी डेवलपमेंट एक्ट एमएससी मस्ट हैव अ नेट वर्थ ऑफ नॉट मोर देन 25 लाख द एमएससी मस्ट हैव एन एनुअल टर्नओवर ऑफ मोर नॉट मोर देन 5 करोड सो दीस आर द दिस इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया बट ये जो पिछली स्लाइड्स हैं दे आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट अप टू 2 करोड़ का लोन लोन प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ओके so the credit guarantee provides a number of benefits increased access to credit lower rate of interest because it is kind of secured there is a guarantee provided so uh, interest rate lower hai, longer tenure is offered okay so additional details <coughs> launch it's the scheme was launched in 1999 and it has a corpus of 20,000 crore rupees and the scheme has been successful in increasing the credit flow to micro and the small enterprises and as of March 2023, the CGT MSE has guaranteed loan worth 1.5 lakh crore. So, itna loan ki guarantee already provide kar chuke hai, which is really amazing. Okay. So, micro and small enterprises cluster development. What is a cluster? So, cluster, it is a location. For example, Ludhiana, uh, the, in Ludhiana, there is a cluster. I mean, there, there is a particular location, Ludhiana mein. Uh, which is a cluster of cycle parts cycle parts ka cluster hai cycle parts so all the you know uh, experts expert mechanics expert labor uh, available had uh, you know there there are manufacturer of uh, chain there are manufacturer of handles manufacturer of carriers for the different parts manufacturers are there service providers are there uh, expert labor is there so that is a cluster and the government wants to develop more such clusters and they want to provide financial assistance for five years to develop such uh, clusters and they are going to provide grants and soft loans what is a soft loan soft loans are the loans offered by government uh, most of the times at uh, lower rate of interest Saste rate pe kuch ek loans diye jate hain. Uh, these are the soft loans or maybe for the longer tenure or unsecured loan they give kuch easy terms page when loans are provided those are soft loans so eligibility criteria, there must be at least 50 micro and small enterprises in the cluster. And in the cluster, all the entities should be, you know, engaged in the similar activities, same activities, Agar cycle parts, everybody is in two cycle parts. And they should have some common infrastructure facilities, um, like my market yard or the common effluent uh, treatment plant, Puch aisi facilities already hoonhi chahi hai. that is eligibility criteria for the MSC CDP. Okay. So here I would say uh, five year for a period of five year the facility is provided and um, at least 50 MSME should be there and that's I guess all. So how uh, the financial uh, assistance uh, would help these clusters improvement of technology improvement of skill and quality market access or the capacity building yes are may help karegi pure cluster ko right credit link capital subsidy scheme for technology upgradation. <clears throat> so credit linked capital subsidy scheme for technology upgradation it's a government run platform for micro small and medium enterprises kya subsidy provide karte hain kya benefit provide karte hain it provides a capital subsidy of up to 15 percent on the cost of new plant and machinery that they acquire so this is a subsidy that is provided the subsidy is available for a wide range of industries including manufacturing service and agriculture not trading trading may retail trade may you know provide karte. manufacture service and agriculture may they provide the this subsidy the maximum amount of subsidy is 15 lakhs that is also important 15 lakh is the maximum amount of subsidy and 15 percent of the total cost of new plant i um, mean that subsidy is provided okay to be eligible for cl uh, clcss the criteria is they must be registered with the government uh, as an msme they must have a valid uh, Udyam Adhyar number, unique identification number uh, for micro and the small enterprise. They must avail a loan from the bank for the purchase of the machinery. Uh, 
एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ न्यू प्लांट एंड मशीनरी नॉट एक्सीड अ सर्टन लिमिट ठीक है सो दिस इज वट यू नीड टू नो ओके यहाँ पे इम्पॉर्टेंट क्या है द मैक्सिमम लिमिट ऑफ द सब्सिडी एंड कितने परसेंट का मैक्सिमम मिल सकता है एंड दैट इज अ क्रेडिट लिंक्ड सब कैपिटल सब्सिडी स्कीम फॉर टेक्नोलॉजी अपग्रेडेशन ठीक है सो एम क्या है द एम इज टू हेल्प एम एस एम ईज टू अपग्रेड देयर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इम्प्रूव देयर प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड कंपेरेटिवनेस एज अ नेम सजेस्ट ठीक है फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट टू एम एस एम ईज इन जेड सर्टिफिकेशन सो बेसिकली वट इज जेड जीरो डिफेक्ट जीरो इफेक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिस अमंग एम एस एम ईज दैट इज जेड सर्टिफिकेशन राइट सो प्रमोट दैट the msmes can avail financial assistance up to 80% of the total cost of z certification under this scheme theek hai irrespective of their size and location so to avail financial assistance uh, the msme obviously they need to apply to development commissioner of ms uh, ministry of msmes and the application process is simple straightforward and it's an online process okay so they can take the assistance to get the certification how the z certification is going to help the msmes uh it can help the msmes to improve their quality standards to improve the pro- uh, the production cost it can improve their environmental performance expand their market share create new jobs basically they are going to make them more productive more efficient theek okay? hai uh, zero defect zero effect manufacturing process theek okay? hai and they can get the 80 up to 80% of the cost of z certification itna of support government se le sakte hain design clinic uh see designs of the small and the micro enterprises they are outdated most of the times they cannot compete with the designers of the mncs and the big companies usko compete hi nahi kar sakte so the government wants to help the small and micro enterprises theek hai so it's a government funded uh, program that provides financial assistance plus the expert advice to the micro and the small and the medium enterprises in india and the program aims to msm uh, aims to help msmes to improve their products and design through uh, services through design theek hai so it provides the financial assistance expert training and the expert advice theek hai so let's do some questions i hope uh, you have gone through the the schemes that i have told you in a clear manner i hope maine acche se padha hai you can watch the video again or you can you know just wherever you want to stop you can stop and read the whole slide uh so it's time to show my face hi so which of the following is not a category of loans under pradhan mantri mudra yojana this is a very popular question uh, exam mein bahut bar aata hai theek hai very popular question so shishu kishor tarun to hai arun nahi hai theek hai so i have already mentioned it shishu kishor and tarun they are the you know various loan types of loan under the mudra scheme arun nahi hai What is the maximum amount of collateral free credit guarantee provided by Credit Guarantee Fund scheme for micro and small enterprises? Maximum amount of collateral free guarantee कितनी टू करोड़ रुपीज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टॉट यू मैक्सिमम टू करोड़ रुपये की गारंटी दी जा सकती है इससे ज़्यादा नहीं वट इज़ द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ जेड जीरो डिफेक्ट जीरो इफेक्ट सर्टिफिकेशन फॉर एम एस एम ईज to enhance the quality to reduce the defects and uh, the waste generated by msmes to promote adoption of green and clean technologies basic question hai lekin paper mein aisa aata nahi hai zyada what is the maximum amount of capital subsidy provided by credit linked capital subsidy for technology upgradations very important question 15 lakh rupees per unit that is really really important 15 lakh per unit okay <clears throat> so uh, retail wale nahi le sakte Which institute is responsible for implementing design clinic for design expertise to MSMEs? National Institute of Design is in uh, is responsible for this. Okay. <clears throat> Which of the following is not a benefit of Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana? Processing fees nahi hai, collateral free loan hai, subsidy nahi provide kari jati. But there is a repayment period. You have to pay your money or you have to pay the loan back. So repayment period to obviously hai three to five years. Which of the following is an exception to 75% guarantee cover under credit guarantee fund scheme for micro and small enterprises? Retail trade यहाँ पे cover नहीं होता. <coughs> Retail trade is not covered uh, for the credit guarantee fund scheme for micro and the small enterprises. बाकी यहाँ पे up to two crore का guarantee is there for various kind of loans. Loans to the micro enterprises, okay. Loans to micro enterprises, loan to women entrepreneurs. 
loan to you know various sectors such as education housing social infrastructure 50 percent cover hai wahan pe women entrepreneur units in northeastern region mein 80 percent ka coverage hai micro enterprises ka 85 percent coverage hai retail trade walo ko guarantee nahi di jati yahan pe theek hai so please know that what is the full form of z in the z certification zero defect zero effect is a full form of z in the z certification uh which of the following is not a sub sector product covered by credit linked capital subsidy for technology upgradation leather products mein hai food processing mein hai textile and jute industry mein hai tourism mein nahi provide kari jati tourism and hospitality sector mein ye nahi provide kari jati subsidy tak kyunki usme kya technology upgrade karoge tourism mein right what is the maximum amount of financial support provided by design clinic for the design expertise to msmes scheme for the design projects 60% uh, of the project cost or 15 lakh rupees i guess pehle nahi cover kiya whichever is less this much subsidy is basically provided this much financial assistance is provided 60% of the project cost or 15 lakh